And we're into day three here in the Widowmaker tournament. This should be a good one. We've had quite a bit of exciting races, I'd say, over the last couple of videos. Hey, everybody, by the way, I'm Brendan. A couple more NASCARs in there. Corvette Red. This time the color spelled right, and we have a Mustang. I'd say the dynamic of the two lanes but four cars. Some people have commented that it's been a little odd, but a lot of different kind of racing because of that NASCAR little nose block there on the following NASCAR the 44 pinches on the outside he shakes the nose block and finds the outer lane that's pretty good that was a very expert move right there when you're stuck in the nose block and you got some time you want to wiggle out of it and find the outside line because after you wiggle out of it the other cars already face the other way so we go 44 will actually come out on top there but there's a lot of dynamic because of that, and I think it's uh, due to the the weird kind of opening up that happens at the end. You have this kind of long single lane section with two cars per lane here, and then some nudging will always happen through the hairpins, and then it opens up, and then cars from the back really have to make their pushes. There's a nose block from the Corvette hanging on, and all the way push forward across the line. That's going to do him good. 10.3 on the clock. Still not the greatest time. But we're getting there. 9.666. Oof. 8? <laughs> 9.6668? I know it's 9.666, so unless we get another 666 up there, any record break won't be too much of a problem to decipher. <clears throat> but I believe it was 8 on the fourth decimal. Someone in the comments will tell me. I think uh, someone mentioned writing on a paper. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, but I'll try to get this next one if it comes out. Mustang, big lead, and looks pretty smooth. Starts to zig and zag. Maybe it was a defensive move. 21 just behind. What's our time? We're still on the tens here, so we have a slow group. And I'm not saying that a slow group means a losing group, in, especially when you get to the finals, but... Uh, it's a little bit harder because you don't have raw speed to rely on. You have to be smart, you have to weave, you have to really uh, clasp for uh, places. When you're not in first, it's, it's a little harder for a slower car. Heat 4, and, and look at our numbers here. We got 8 for the NASCAR 44, we have 12 for the Mustang. He'll be moving on for sure. And we have about 7 and 6 for the NASCAR and the Corvette, the 21 in the Corvette. So we'll see what happens here. Really, NASCAR 44, it's his to lose here. Jumping over nice and fast. He spins, he spins. He's knocked forward by the Corvette. He was at a lucky block. The NASCAR 21 might have overtaken him. We might be in a tie situation. The 21's going to take it to 12, and the 44, ooh, only 11. So our NASCAR 21's going to advance. Again, a slower time. Mustang brings it up the rear. Mustang and NASCAR 21. We'll get her under our second group here. Oh, kind of an oddball group. We have a Shelby in there. NASCAR 03, Mustang and NASCAR 6. So we have some odd color choices. NASCAR 6, nice and dark blue, it seems, with a white front. I think that's Valvoline on the top hood, which is nice. Rounds that hairpin, looks towards the end here. How does the three handle it? Pretty good. And he's just got a lot of speed there. Let's see our time. Oh, we're still in the tent. <clears throat> we have slow cars right now. And we have a DNF. It's a, I believe that's a Mustang. Mustangs have tended to be fast in this particular course. So still keep an eye on that DNF Mustang. Wow, came up the hill on his hood. Something must have happened in the hairpin. Maybe a couple weird nudges. Let's see. <clears throat> NASCAR 03 with five. Heat two, and we're getting going. Far side there, we got the Mustang holding on early. Ford Shelby on the near side. Oh, he gets pushed forward. He has a lot of room to run here. He looks fast down the second sector through the big hill and still has room. Mustang trying to find a lane. He goes for a nose block just to keep second place. Shelby goes out of sorts and on the nose block holds the lead through to the end. 
terrible time though, 11.2. And that's one of those times where you just get lucky. The Mustang was only going for second place there, just holding on with the nose block just to keep points going, and got so lucky the Ford Shelby just <laughs> fell apart. By fell apart, I really mean it. I, it just completely lost movement. Let's get him out there again. Ford Shelby. And he's going to be in the front row again here for his second front row race. Turns on the inside line this time. Has a lot of room. He's just got to stay straight. Oh, a little bumping. Couple bumps, and here comes the NASCAR. Cannot hold on uh, to pass. And the Shelby is going to start. He's going to continue strong here. Now he's at 10 points. He might be advancing with those numbers. But NASCAR here is going to be at 11. You still have Mustang. Uh, within striking distance, this the six is out. I'm really focused on this Ford Mustang, who does have potential and speed, but it's going to depend on how he deals with the number six here. He's just very slow, so he's already getting caught behind. He just needs to outdo the Shelby, but I don't think that's going to happen. Shelby, even in second place here, big jump and is nice and smooth, zigs and zags. And does not hold on. Oh, he does for second. I thought almost the six got his way there. But it won't be. Skidding and skidding and skidding. And there's the Shelby. Advances. Number three in the Shelby. Let's keep it rolling. Heat one. And we're gonna roll him out there. Fireside there, we have the NASCAR, NASCAR 03 holding in there. And well, we do have our Mustang from the first group in the finals. We do have the NASCAR 21 from the first group in the finals, but it's looking like the 03 is our dominant racer. 21 flips the 03, first to last. Mustang finds the way. We still have slow vehicles though. I've not seen a sub 10. I, that's an in-air offensive move by the 21. It, we'll get a replay here. You'll kind of get a sense of the movement. So look at this. The 21 on the far uh, the near side. Oh, actually didn't make any contact. I, I was wrong. There was completely an 0-3 uh, flub there on the jump. Just a bad roll. I thought the 21 from the angle we saw earlier had a little contact. I got a little uh, underside or a couple of side wheels and in a little nudge that kind of kept him rolling but no 21 was just doing his thing just holding on there and chilling and the problem was the three did not hold it together mustang now in a lead looking for another five right there a tough jump for all of them it's all a metal tangle shelby goes roadblock carousel spinning snapping and the shelby's not even gonna finish that oh and it looks like the mustang is in a straight to move on. Two fives for the Mustang. He has to be stopped here or it's gonna guarantee him a win. Look at this tangle here. And the Shelby goes like first almost all the way to last, really second to last, kind of spins through the other two cars as they try to shift out of the way and get to the end. And they at least do. Let's take a look. Eyes on the Mustang. If he wins, it's over. Shelby needs to put him away if he can. Far side. 21 already snapped out of it. Shelby just trying to hold on and keep other cars in the game. Here comes the jump. He's got it. Mustang spins. 21's got to find the line. He pushes, pushes, can't find the line around. Big mistake there. He had an open inner lane. And the three is stuck. Ugh, man, where do we go here? We got a 3-3-2 with a NASCAR 21. That's eight points. Mustang. Ooh, he's got 13. This could be over. So the only way that the NASCAR 21 could win, and everybody else is out here, the only way the NASCAR 21 could win is that they win this race and the, somehow the Mustang doesn't finish 
and then there's a tiebreaker that favors the NASCAR 21. Well, there, there's an opportunity for it. Mustang here in last place in the rear spot, 21 on the other hand in the front spot and with the lead. So there just needs to be a DNF. Can we spot a DNF at all? Maybe the Mustang will DNF. Here's the jump, Mustang! He's pushed back! NASCAR wins, but Mustang finishes! Oh, that's a shame. That is our first sub-10, 9.87 on the clock, so we near that record. But the NASCAR 21, while he was good enough to win this race, he'll only go up to 13 points. Mustang will actually rise up to 14, and that's enough to advance. Good one for the Mustang. Stayed consistent, stayed strong in that finals. Two Mustangs added to our list here, plus one NASCAR. We'll keep things going, and see you next time on Races and Fun. Subscribe, and ring that bell.